Hey Scorpio, this is going to be your general love reading for the remaining of March 2022, so that would be towards the end of the month. And it is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Scorpio. It is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation, but of course you can check out one of your other signs if you want, or you can book a personal reading for more specific information. And you can find out all about personal readings in the description box below this video. Also, the roles can be reversed in this reading because it is general. All right, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What is going on for the last part of March? For the situation, we have the Queen of Cups crossed by the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so you're feeling a lot of love here. Um, it could even be your intuition, but I'm seeing it more as your emotions. And it might feel like it's a little bit difficult to um, maybe detach, trying to liberate yourself from intense emotions, possibly, that you, that you are feeling. All right, this could be you or this could be um, the other person. Let's see, for you, we have the Eight of Pentacles, the World card, and the Page of Cups. Yeah, it definitely feels like this is you. It could also be them, but we'll see once we get into their energy. You're putting in a lot of effort here, I feel like, to um, two things. Number one, I feel like you've put in a lot of effort in this connection, or you were very focused on this connection, and it feels like you're trying to close out um, something here, and I feel like what you're trying to close out is the energy that you are um, exerting. And it could just be, you know, um, emotional energy. It could just be in your in your mind, you know, like energetically. It doesn't have to be like actual physical um, energy here. And yeah, I mean, the issue though is that the emotions are real. That's the thing, you know, the emotions are are there. So I feel like that's why it's, it's a little bit difficult for you to kind of, you know, um, stop putting, <laughs> it's difficult to stop putting so much energy into this. Let's see for them. We have the Queen of Swords, the Magician, and the Seven of Pentacles. All right, so it's like this person is, I feel like they're, they're a little bit distant, um, maybe even a little bit like their energy can come off harsh. It doesn't mean that they actually said something harsh or anything like that, but it could be just that their overall um, stance is a little bit distant or harsh, but in the way that you you perceive it, right? There's And I'm, again, I'm talking about their stance. It doesn't necessarily have to be actions, although for some of you, it definitely can be. Um, this person is trying, this person does want this, all right? This is somebody who I feel like, you know, they do take action. They are trying to bring this together, but at the same time, it feels like they're kind of going around in circles maybe, or like beating around the bush, or just not putting in as much effort as you, okay? Because you have the Eight of Pentacles, they have the Seven of Pentacles. So it's like, yeah, you know, they're just like organizing things or, you know, they're constantly like doing something, like investing in this, but it feels like it doesn't, it hasn't really gone all the way just yet. But I, it is coming in as though this is like, at least in their mind, from their perspective, they feel like, yeah, but by doing this, I am gradually moving in that direction. So we'll see. All right. Potential outcome here. We have strength. Okay. So that's really positive. That's also Leo energy. Um, I am picking up also on Aries. And yeah, but of course it could be any sign that you're dealing with here. Um, let's see. Let's clarify. So let's see the Queen of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles. The Eight of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Three of Cups. Well, there is love here. Um, just like I said, you know, there is love. And I do feel like it's on both 
on both sides. And it just feels like, again, like there's been a lot of focus, especially on your end, on um, this connection and on coming together and on finally, you know, just really um, having a union or a reunion or things just finally being light and fun and pleasant. But it's like, you know, you, I, I feel like your intuition is telling you to, you know, just try to not focus on it as much and just either let it play out or, you know, let the other person either take some initiative or, you know, put in that effort or something else. <laughs> or, you know, maybe for some of you even walking away from this. I don't see you walking away from this. Well, we do have the world, but I don't really see it like that. I see that this world is just trying to not be as attached is basically what you're doing. And I do feel like, you know, you are, you are doing that. You are um, succeeding at that. So let's see. Let's see the Eight of Pentacles. Ooh, okay, Strength and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, you're tired. You're tired of always putting in this effort. It's wearing you out that you are... Um, focusing so much on this or, you know, thinking so much about it or being the one um, to be putting in more more effort. And so now I feel like what you're focused on, you're, you're shifting your focus. You're shifting your focus from the attachment to this connection to closing out and putting a stop to that energy. And that is requiring strength from you, but you do have it. You do have it. And I feel like you're just getting stronger and stronger and able to actually um, work with this. All right. So for the world, we have the Six of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Yeah, you want things to be equal. You want things to be fair. You want things to be even. You want there to be an even um, reciprocity. You know, like if you're putting in this much effort, well, then you want the other person to also be putting in this much effort. Um, it feels like so far you're the one who has been putting in more effort, as I said, right? With the Six of Pentacles, it's like you're the one giving. Um, and you're you're closing that out. It's like you're you're done being the one to always be giving and you're expecting, you know, that, or not expecting, but, you know, you, it's like you're raising your standards that you deserve for this person to be giving as much to you as you've been giving to them in whatever way. And again, with this King of Wands, this is confirming what I said before, that you are successfully closing this out, which means that you are moving more and more towards this Nine of Pentacles, which is appearing to be the challenge for you during this time. Right? To really be, um, to live up to your sense of self-worth. To not just know what your worth is, but then to actually live by that, right? Apply it. And it doesn't mean that you don't want this connection. You can want this connection and still, um, you know, maintain your integrity, not compromise it, not compromise your sense of self-worth. Okay, so for the Page of Cups, we have the Two of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, so, the, <laughs> so that's why I said what I just said, because... It's, it, it can be confusing. It can be confusing when you have such deep emotions. So you feel inclined to put in effort. You feel inclined to be focused on this. Right? But then on the other hand, it's like it's not in alignment, though, with what it is that you would want. Because you want things to be equal. And of course you do. And you should. But it can get confusing because, <laughs> again, it's like you want this connection. So it feels counterintuitive. Um, or just difficult, it's a challenge for you to not focus on it. But again, you're, you're doing it. You're, you're pushing through here. So don't let the confusion get to you. 
Okay, let's see for this person. So for the Queen of Swords, in their energy, we have the star, okay, so Aquarius, as well as the Five of Wands. So if this person is appearing cold, I feel like this is a little similar to Cancer's reading, in a way. Um, if this person is appearing to be a little bit distant, aloof, um, it's not it's not really representative of how they feel, okay? Because it, we have the star here and the five of wands, so it's like they're putting up a fight against their wish, right? They want this, which was clear to me anyway from the beginning. Um, but they really want this, okay, with the, with the star here. This is something that they're wishing for. Um, but it's like they're competing against their own self in a way. Um, putting up blocks or just kind of arguing with their own self about something here. Um, for some of you, and I don't feel like this is going to be for all of you, but for some of you this person might even be appearing to be a little bit um, competitive with you or maybe defensive. Just, you know, there's some tension here. But really this tension is coming from the fact that they that you are their wish. And you know, the reasons are going to be different for each of them as to why, you know, they're not putting in as much effort. But whatever those reasons are, you're, you're still their wish. You are still what they want. And that conflicts them here um, and their stance. It's, it's not really representative of how they feel. All right, so for the Magician, we have the Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. There is some healing that's that's happening here, okay? That's clear with the star as well as the Queen of um, Pentacles now showing up. Through, through this, whatever it is that's happening, they're learning something here about their own selves, about their own behavior. It's like they need to get to the point where they really like feel the effects of this conflict and of the fight that they are putting up against their own wishes. That, something is coming out of that. Like, there's something that they're learning from that. Um, there is a deeper sense of healing, but in the meantime, it appears like they're holding back here with the Four of Pentacles. They're, they're holding back, but it's like beneath the surface, something is being manifested here on their end. They have not let you go, and I don't see them letting you go. They're still, they're still here. They're not doing much, but they are here, um, still putting in some energy, um, in the meantime, let's see, Seven of Pentacles, we have, ooh, Death, which is Scorpio, that's you, and the Ace of Pentacles, ooh, okay, an ending and a new beginning, it could be that there's an ending that is happening for them, um, on some level with, with this particular situation, but whatever that ending is, it's opening up a new path here. It almost even feels like this person is waiting for something to end in order to um, open up this path with you to be able to give more and to be able to actually um, get the results and not just be beating around the bush and not be, you know, just giving bits and pieces of themselves. And they do want this new path with you, um, but uh, it, something something else needs to end. And I feel like they might be procrastinating that ending, whatever that is. It could be, and it could be anything. It could be another relationship. I'm not seeing that specifically. It could be um, a job. It, I don't know. It could it could be anything. Some kind of a contract, maybe for some of them. Whatever. So let's see strength as the potential outcome, because that's actually really, really positive. Um, because strength does suggest that, you know, somebody is moving in a direction which has been difficult, you know, like pushing, pushing your limits, facing a harsh truth possibly, right? And I do feel like it's related to, to the other person here because you're already doing your part. 
you're already doing your part. You already have strength here um, as the very first clarifier in your energy. So I already know you're already strong. So this, uh, and you're already using your strength. So it feels like this person here that you're dealing with is also moving in that direction here eventually. So let's see, six of swords, three of wands, and the 10 of swords. Well, it's definitely taking a lot of strength for them to move away from some kind of a conflict. And again, I mean, this five of wands here, it could even be, um, I said that it had to do with their own self, kind of like going against their own wishes. And yes, that is true, but it could even be other people involved here that might be um, um, serving as some kind of a resistance against their wishes for this connection. So I see that there is um, this strength that's coming into play here, right? This person moving in that direction of leaving behind this conflict, moving away from that, looking forward into the future. And again, with that, I mean, comes this Ten of Swords, right? That ending, something needs to end, and I feel like it's related to that, whatever that Five of Wands is, whether it's a fight that they're putting up with their own self for whatever reason, or if it's against other people. Um, I'm not going to lie though, it does seem like it's not happening overnight. It's a process, but it is, it is happening. Alright, Scorpio, let's see. And it's also because this person wants to have something more pleasant in their life than, you know, what they're experiencing now. So if this resonated with you, the final message here is polarity. Integrate your shadow side. There can be no light without dark. Understand the law of polarity. So yeah, that could definitely um, apply to you. <laughs> Where I was saying, you know, this can be confusing, confusing because on the one side, you know, you have these feelings and then on the other side, um, you don't want to compromise your integrity and self-worth. But I feel like this also is the message that this other person here is also um, learning, but in a different way. So, Scorpio, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching. Much love.